Hello, I'm Jason Hennig from Something About a Pie. In a previous video, I mentioned the Nephilim, a group of giants. So, who were they? Yeah, <laughs> the, the guys from Diablo. <laughs> The Nephilim were basically the oldest giants in the Old Testament. The idea that there were giants actively engaged in the story of Noah comes from them. Now, you could easily read through a lot of the Old Testament and not notice that the Nephilim were giants. In fact, they might not have been giants in the same sense that Goliath was. But that's a situation that biblical scholars will probably never agree on. Sometime before Noah's flood, the Nephilim showed up as the heroes of men, according to Genesis. The word itself means fallen ones, because they were a generation turning away from God. That doesn't really imply giants. However, by the time the Israelites were scouting Canaan in the Book of Numbers, they were described as giants. So where do we get a lot of our information about the Nephilim? Why did they show up in a movie about Noah? They remain pretty low-key throughout the Old Testament, and there certainly isn't enough information for them to be accurately portrayed in Hollywood. See, that was a joke there, using accurately portrayed in Hollywood in the same sentence. Well, that information comes from a historian who is a contemporary of Jesus named Josephus. Josephus was a Jewish scholar who wrote what is now a very important historical text called The Antiquities of the Jews. There are two important things to keep in mind about Josephus. First is that his works are not included in biblical canon. That's significant because it means his works aren't inerrant. Josephus, unlike the contents of the Bible, was occasionally wrong. Of course, since the Nephilim were mentioned in the Bible, that's not really the question. What is a question is whether or not they were actually like what Josephus described. Ultimately, he could only make his best educated guess. Second, a lot of Josephus' history is speculated, not an actual historical account. Josephus never claimed to be divinely inspired, at least that we're aware of, so his works describing periods for which he had basically no evidence were his best guess. Of course, that said, Josephus was a prolific Jewish scholar with an intimate knowledge of Jewish history. In many ways, his best guess is substantially superior to ours. So what did Josephus say about the Nephilim? One notable observation was that, as he understood it, the Nephilim were very similar to the Greek Titans, who rebelled against Zeus. As a result, there are theories that the Greek stories of the Titans were actually based on the real-life Nephilim. Josephus described giants as being so big and ugly that they were surprising to the sight and terrible to the hearing. This probably isn't so much a guess as a logical conclusion. They were big, and so their voices were probably pretty deep and terrifying. As to where we get the story of Noah and the Nephilim, that's actually a historical anecdote that Josephus told. He described a story of Noah going to the Nephilim and trying to get them to stop their wicked ways, which of course they didn't. So he ran away with his family, fearing for his life. That story may or may not be true at all. It's not mentioned in the biblical account of Noah, and it's not really a provable event. So, in summary, the Nephilim were a race of big, ugly giants who were definitely mean. They were certainly around at the time of Noah, though whether or not Josephus made up the specific story for dramatic effect is unclear. They were around when the Israelites scouted out Canaan, or at least a group with the same name and qualities was. But that's about all we know. It's one of the big open-ended questions that the Bible leaves us with. So that's really all we can say. This has been another short from Something About a Pie. The heroes from Diablo, kind of. You were an Ethelene in the third one. I don't think you're an Ethelene in the other ones. Though it's interesting that there's a demon hunter, a shaman, a monk, and what's the other one? A wizard. A wizard who are all Nephilim. But it doesn't matter which one of them shows up. Oh yeah, there's the berserker. The berserker.